cosmos. Obey strategical multiple operation systems. All systems operational. Are you my master? Hello, it's King Zombies here, playing some more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. As you just saw, because I'm pretty sure I put it right at the beginning of this episode, I have finally, after spending a lot of effort on this, awoken Cosmos. The final blade for now, for the uh, pre-New uh, Game Plus. So let's check out our affinity chart real quick, shall we? System functions expanded. Alright, the first thing to note is so that she has a quest that I need to go to the World Tree in order to start. Okay, somewhat interesting. And then just use lots of her specials, basically. <laughs> and you special there, blade combo, and feed specific enemy. Which I'll probably do very shortly so I can get started on these. Uh, lots of blade combos. There's a driver combo there. But yeah, that's a lot of blade combos I need to do. Just be in a lot of battle. Here's a heart to heart. Not too far off, so that's good to know. It requires two blade combos and board games. Then more driver combos. Yikes. Ah, uh, here, here's some actual enemies, and collect stuff. Oh, that's just gonna happen. Use a special, that's gonna happen. Okay. I'm not gonna be working you today. Other than... Actually, I'm gonna go kill a few Bunnets and Gormot real quick. So that we can get started on unlocking everything else. Just through random fights. But that's all I'm planning on for today. Because the main thing I'm wanting to do is finish this mission, or quest, or do this quest even, and do all of these. So we have six quests to do, and I took a, uh, a look through the different maps of the areas. I also have six random heart-to-hearts. So that kind of works out pretty well. So we'll probably do one of one and one, or whatever. One quest, one heart to heart. That makes sense. Medical systems upgraded. Hello. Hey, ladies. My power. Okay. Very intimidating, aren't they? Wow, you look tough. <laughs> we sure are. Tough as nails, us. Wait, I look tough too? Awesome. Uh, well, maybe you're more like adorable in a tough kind of way? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. So now that we've established that, did you want something from us? Right, yes. Lately, even our Letharian archipelago isn't safe from trouble. An unspeakably evil monster called Pelag Pelag Pelagatic Pelagic Vincent has recently made Merkblay Islet its home. Even a passing Titan ship, even, even passing Titan ships aren't safe from this nasty thing. All three of them have been sunk already this month. That's not good. Right, so you seem like you can handle yourselves, so I thought maybe you could get rid of it for us. Wait, Electra looks like she could handle herself? Uh, well, she definitely could handle herself adorably <laughs> thanks again anyway back to the topic at hand you should know we've asked a few drivers already but none succeeded the beast is, a, is as mighty as it is foul still we offer a reward that is more than adequate does this sound like something you could take on I'm getting good feeling here aren't you driver let's show the bastard who's strongest here to us we'll get this sorted out that's what I'm talking about I will follow my driver's call. 
I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed, if I'm honest. But I promise I'll do my best. Thanks. Like I said, the Pelagatic, Pelagic Vincent is in is on Markiplier Island. Come back in one piece, you hear? Leave to us. Oh, interesting. It's one of the ones down on the Cloud Sea itself. We don't go to these super often. In fact, there's a good chance I've not gone to all of them. Though, maybe not, I'm not sure. It does say that I've been here, judging by the fact that it's a marked location. Is that the enemy? It's level 81. Looks like it. For this Torah, Torah right Happy here. CT reporting in. Let's begin. Nia's turn. Ha ha ha! I got my ether pumping. I'll tuck it out now. Harold, how are you feeling? Normal, but it isn't over yet. Oh, another thing. Oh, a whole bunch of them. Okay. Well now, things are getting interesting. Dealing with only one was hard enough, and now there's three? We'll be fine. If I just release my power. My power? Yeah, my power. Harold, no, you can't. Here, let me. I trust you. Power dissipated? Electra, was it you? I just, uh, suddenly thought I'd better do something, I guess. With your controlling the output, the fight will be, would be much easier. Now there's an idea. Hey, driver, can me and Harold go after them? You go after one of them? Are you alright? It's alright. We can just, we can get some extra pairs of hands to help, so just you leave it to us. Wait, is this gonna turn into merc missions? <laughs> Electra and Harold could go after one, I'd, it'd make me look bad not to, <laughs> to call dibs on one too, right? If we handle the other two, I imagine you can manage one without us, right? Sure. Or we can just take all three of them on at once, pound them flat. It's definitely an option. Hey, I think that's pretty damn exciting. But you're my driver here, so what's gonna be? Merc style or all-out brawl? Hmm. Maybe we should head back to Richard Harbour and think it through. <laughs> Medical systems upgraded. Well, of course, strength level 45 or more. I guess I'll do it this way. This is somewhat more interesting. It's a little bit time consuming though. Which is no suggested field skill, so even if I added more, I don't think it would take any less time. Okay then. Come, Valkyrie Legion. Commencing mission. Good luck! Boss Buster Band! Let's go back some tyrants. I hope we get blindsided by a tough one on the way. Good luck! Yeah, at the same time, so adding more didn't did nothing. Oh well. Oh, you're not quite as high of a level, but I'll give that you the glory, Oh, I can't have to eat once I come in. I guess that makes sense. Medical systems upgraded. You know what? I guess just causing break is enough to count for a driver combo, which is somewhat weird, because it doesn't require me to do a finisher. I wonder if blade combos work the same way, where you only have to do, just get the start off, you don't have to finish them. I'm not sure. Don't let them off easy just because they're one shot! Take this! Was that acceptable? Well met. I want 
to move on to the next battle already. Nicely done, chaps. Well, now you're set for sore eyes. I take it the job went well. Serious thing, yeah. What is this? What's this now? Three of them. Ah, that would explain why none of the settings seem to match. One driver said it was a wild beast. Some ship captain said it was more like a bird monster. It never even occurred to me that there might be more than one. Oh, well, what's important is that even those three monsters were no match for you. Now the ships are safe and everything's right as rain, right? Everything okay now? No fooling, though. You lot might just be the strongest drivers and blades that Alris has ever seen. If I hear of any more big jobs, I'll be sure to leave them to you. I hope that if the time comes, you'll accept. Oh, and so as I don't forget, here's the reward I owe you. It's hef quite hefty, but you've earned every last G. Oh, more Merc missions. Okay. All it wants is strength. That's so weird. Getting over to this heart heart's a bit of a journey. I don't, even, I don't even know if I've climbed up here before. Oh? Wait, wait, wait. I just talked to you last episode, I think. <laughs> Hello, friend. The view from here is very grand. Ferrara not much, not see much, such wonderful view before in all of life. Ferrara know what friends thinking. Life of Ferrara not very long yet, but that would be side point. Watching people grow mott from here, Ferrara think they generally too calm and relaxed for their own good. Because Gromot people born in lovely land of plenty of food and nature, and not much problems. There was war at one point, but that no change basic nature of people much. Ferrara know what friends thinking. Not but who only laugh for five years should not make judgment about life. Okay. Anyway, for our feeling hungry now, I want to gorge self on mushroom. Ultra's Trade Guild Walkie Walkie Guidebooks say no good try to do anything while Tum Tum is empty. So gorging sh self on mushrooms is correct goal of Walkie Walkie. Anyway, maybe we meet again. Best of luck. So. Was this the view or whatever that he was talking about before? I would never have thought to come up here <laughs> for that. Okay, I have no idea where, where mushrooms are. Is there land full of mushrooms? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't remember any. Anyway, let's be this hard part. Amazing. You get a great view of the town from here, eh? Told you so. When the Zikonator says there's a good view, he doesn't lie. Matter of fact, it's the best view in all of Toragoth. You're not from here, are you, Zeke? You seem to know quite a lot about the place. Well, you see. Last time I was here, the old geese of the inn gave me the lowdown. Oh, right. You used to travel all over the place, didn't you? Do you know a lot about other places apart from Gormont, then? Oh, yes. You wouldn't believe some of the things I've seen. But listen, I want you to tell me something. What does this scenery right here make you think of? It's such a big, lively town. Yeah. Hmm, sure. But you know, that's just a facade. It's what they want you to see. A facade? Yeah, exactly. Like, you know Gormot's a colony of Morardane right now? Well, the only reason the town looks so lively is because Morardane has a military base here. Most other settlements in Gormot, everyone's doing hard work like farming and lumberjacking. And most of what they produce, they export to Morardane. It's quite a tough life here. A lot of folks are struggling. Hmm. And it's not just Gormot either. I've seen a good few dark underbellies on my travels, no doubt about it. Did you ever try to help those people out? Ah, so many times. I had it in my head that the Zikonator had the power to fix anything. But fancy sword skills and titles. They aren't much use to most folks. I was trying to save the world alone. 
But what happened is that reality bit me on the ass. Hey, don't look at it like that. Huh? Sure. Maybe you don't have the power to save the whole world right now. But there are definitely people out there that you have helped. Me and Pyra for a start. So Zeke, don't ever give up. Don't forget. You've got some people you can count on now. Yeah, you're right. You really are. I don't know what I was thinking. It's not just the Zekanator now. I've got you guys watching my back. Some of the things I couldn't do back then might even be possible now. Right? So let's keep doing what we can. All of us, together. Yeah, I just gotta put my back into it. Look out, world! The Zekanator's coming to rock your socks off! Whew! That sure felt good. Your turn, Rex. Let your manifesto out. Um, I'm gonna get Pyra and Mithra to Elysium or die trying. Yeah! -ha! What are you two doing? You're embarrassing me. I really like that one. That was nice. Yeah, hello. Got any interesting info? Well, absolutely. I've heard something a driver would definitely find real interesting. It's rumored about a Titan ship packed to the rafters with boosters that sank on its way to Indol. I don't need those anymore. I already got. I already. I, I actually I just don't need those. Anymore. Uh, it was a long time ago, but I hear its final resting place is not too far from Gormat Lasham Island. Any salvager worth their salt should be able to get the boosters without too much trouble, but. Wait, is this a way I could have got I could have farmed boosters way more efficiently? Oh, it feels horrible now. <laughs> you might not know that salvage boosters require special tools. There's an op on in the back streets of this here town who knows about these things. It goes by Seesaw. I don't mention it. I don't have the opportunity to be a driver, so I don't mind sharing that info with you. If I was a driver myself, well, that'd be a whole different story. Okay, tell us more, or give us the tools or whatever. Hey ho, friends have business with Seesaw? Oh, that story is old, ah, uh, chestnut, yes. Which is saying, Seesaw talk about needing special cylinders, salvage boosters from Cloud Sea, yes. Never thought we'd see a day when someone here in Uriah went to salvage that, though. Big surprise, yes really is Cousin Pond of Seesaw, who lives in Argentum, who know all about this stuff. Seesaw tried help. Friends bring materials, and we take good old college try at making. First need one silver crystal cylinder, okay. Zigzag shaft, sure. And a uh, locust spring, no, make it two. Those materials, Seesaw, make booster cylinder, just like Cousin Pond taught. Yeah, yeah, I have the stuff. I don't have the stuff. <sighs> Where did he say I need to go? Oh, he doesn't. Alright. I have the stuff I need. Might as well make as many as I can. Just so I have them. Because I want to use them. There. Boost the cylinder is complete. Should try using a salvage point on Lasham Island and Gormont. Should come up with armloads of boosters, meh. It's nothing to mention, really. If friends ever need more, can come by any time. With every cylinder Seesaw make, Seesaw get one step closer to equal cousin pawn in art of cylinder craft. Oh, and that's the end of the quest. Well, I might as well go and try it out. Okay, this should be the one. Whoa. That was fast. Onwards. All the ones I've been doing so far have been so slow. <laughs> I'm back. Miss me. Ha! Already got so I, okay, so they're just they're these items up the front. That's pretty good. Looks like we. 
Oh, and there's more in the chests. Oh, wow, this is really good, actually. Unfortunately, I'm basically maxed out on everything. Also, at some point, Zeke got level 10 justice, which is weird because I was under the impression that level 9 was the max. Because if you look at everyone else, the max they ever get up to is level 9. So that was really, that's really weird. I mean, I know these are supposed to give you those as well because it says idea plus. But considering how many of these say that and you don't get any more after 9... I don't know how that works. Like, do you need exponentially more, maybe? Perhaps. Oof! Alright, let's view this heart heart up here. Outstanding! It thanks to Tora becoming driver that Tora come to this place. Blades and drivers most best ever! Oh, that remind Tora! Rex Rex, Nia! Tora need little consultation. Ah, a consultation with us. Tora have big problem right now. Recently, uh, Tora finally realized Tora is. Tora is. Tora is not very useful in battle. Oh. oh. Why friends silent? Oh, uh. We're just a bit surprised. I mean, I just never really took you for the self-assessing type. Oh, too cruel. Nah, I mean, you fight just fine, Tora. Poppy deserve all the credit. She pass weapon and do all the things so Tora can fight like real driver. Tora sometimes think if he remove program of Poppy, Poppy fighting alone would be most efficient. Seriously? Whoa, you go, girl. That why Tora just feel like small fairy ball and chain well uh, I wouldn't go that far anyway Tora wonder if there any point to Tora still being driver maybe it better for everyone if Tora retire and assume supervisor duty on sideline oh Tora Nia what do you think why did you want to be a driver we're not clear to Tora anymore. Starting with Grandpipon, dearest wish of family was to successfully create Artificial Blade. So, it natural that Tora start to wish it too. Well, do you know why your granddad wants to make an Artificial Blade? Surely it because... he want to be famous. That sounds like a lame reason. No, but Nopon Driver is rare thing. Not one who become driver almost sure to become celebrity. Was that your motivation as well then? Mm, uh, not exactly. Tora want to be like Rex Rex. Like me? At first, Tora simply yearned to be driver, not think too much about it. But after me travel with Rex Rex and friends, <laughs> he start to think different. Saving persons in need, facing all challenges. Rex Rex is Taurus' idea of perfect driver. It feels kind of strange when you say that to my face. Rex a perfect driver? I'm not convinced. But it looks like you've got a clear goal in mind, Tora. Hey, hold on. Honestly, that's all you need. Tora, you should keep being a driver. As long as you have goals to achieve, there's no reason for you to stop. And your blade will help you in that. Poppy shouldn't have to fight alone. You need to be right there with her. Oh, it fair point. Thank you, Rex Rex. Thank you, Nia. Tora promise he will strive to be best driver ever. I can kind of understand where Tora's coming from, because by the time you get here in the story, he only has Poppy Alpha. He's yet to gain either of her other forms, so he's is a little limiting to be you to use. Okay, well on to the next quest. How are things for the shop, Jennifer? Oh Gorg, things are going very well, thank you. Students are snapping up sniped flans left and right. I can barely keep neon cookies in stock. And now a day goes by with on a chowd or two grinning with the first bite of a love merry cake. It's great, all in all. 
I'm glad to hear this. Yeah. There's one thing I would like to talk to you about, though. Oh? What's that? Well, the name of Just Desserts has spread well beyond Ponzamima. I've been getting requests from all corners of Allrest. People want to eat your sweets, Gord, and are willing to pay a premium to get them. They don't even seem to mind covering shipping out of their own pockets. Oh, that's pretty impressive. I guess you need to start making more. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it, but there's no way for me to make my desserts last any longer than they do. I know it's not the most convenient for our fans, but in the end, they'll have to keep coming to us. Boris! Now there's an idea. Boris could certainly handle deliveries for us. He's gonna eat it all! <laughs> what a great idea! Hey, Boris, come over here for a sec, would ya? Huh? Oh, hiya! I've got a favor to ask you, Boris. People all over all rest want to eat the desserts we make here, but there's just a problem of delivering them. The desserts don't last long, so I need someone very fast on deliveries. And I don't know anyone speedier than you. So what do you think? Could you help us out here? No problem. You know me. Always glad to help out a friend in need. Ah, uh, great. Jennifer here is will tell you the orders and where to get them to. All right. Yep. First off, we got ten Love Mary cakes to go to. Siamran in Moradain. Can you handle that? Consider it delivered. Thanks, Boris. I guess I'll leave it to you then. Is this gonna be a bunch of Merc missions, or me actually just running all over the place? Merc missions. Okay. It's a little bit nicer. We'll be the voracious vanguard! Nice and quick, guys. Best of luck to you. Wow, it only lasts a minute. That's really fast. It was easy as pie. Oh, pie. Nicely done, chaps. Boris, that was quick. Hope you didn't tire yourself out now. What, that? No way. It was easy peasy and lots of fun. What did the customer have to say, then? The customer? Um, Ger Gorg? It was seeing the suspicion that the delivery didn't make it. Seeing as our delivery specialist has the remains of some love raspberries on his stomach and around his mouth. Oh, you mean this here? It's funny you mention that now, because you never believe what happened. No, I'm sure I won't. Um, uh, um, ah, it's not my fault, okay? They were just so good, they're begging to be eaten. <laughs> I mean, what else was I going to do? Let the desserts sit down by not helping them to fulfill their destiny? No way. You gotta be kidding me. You have to go again and have a bit more self-control this time, Boris. I'm sorry. I can do it. I really can. I promise. This time I'll be really careful not to eat anything. Okay, then. Let's try again and see how you get on. This delivery was to Siamin and Nordane. Got it? Got it. D just leave it to me. Don't worry about anything. Alright, Boris. Remember, no nibbling this time. You need my this help? one actually requires more than just him. Okay. Ooh, I don't want score. Even. I'll support. We'll be the voracious vanguard. Nice and quick, guys. Just remember to have fun. It was easy as pie. Oh, pie. You better report in then. Don't go back, Boris. How'd it go this time? Everything went perfectly, and I didn't eat a single thing. Glad to hear it. And Siarman was really happy to get his delivery. It's all thanks to you and your hard work, Boris. If you don't mind, do you think you could keep up with this delivery job, Boris? It'd be great help. Totally, and I know I can resist the temptation to eat what I'm carrying. Customers have such happy faces when I make deliveries. It makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. Also, I realize it's better to arrive with an empty stomach, ready for whatever local delicacies I can gobble. <laughs> I suppose that's one way to look at it. Well, you'll be glad to know I've still got loads of requests from all over Allrest. I'll let you know what needs doing, so if you have a bit of time to help out, I'll be super grateful. No problem. In the name of good food, I feel I can do anything, including deliveries. Ah, uh, and one more thing. What? I wanted to say thank you. Because of you, all kinds of people have had the chance to sample my desserts. 
Well, it's not like supporting just desserts is my job or anything, but you're very welcome. Oh, wow, there's there's a lot of these. There's five total ones that take half an hour each. Okay. Oh, there's a treasure trove over here. Oh, how do I get to that? Maybe from up here? I don't think I've been here before. There's more walkways down there, too. Where am I? I've been on the outside of the building before. I've just never guide done me. this. I call upon the power of fire. Optic nerve auxiliary circuit unlocked. Very well. This puts me up here. This looks like the right place to get to that chest. Ooh. Okay, let's view this heart to heart. Hey, Tora, what's up? You look a little bit spaced out looking at the view like that. Oh, Rex, Rex. Tora was just thinking about when they captured Dadapon. Right. I've come to think of it, this was the place where he had to create all those artificial blades. Dadapon always was a bit of a scaredy pon. Shy. Couldn't do bad thing even when needed to do bad thing. What happened to Dadapon was. Tora? How could they make him make so many rubbish blades? Tora cannot imagine how bitter it was for Dadapon. Huh? Hang on a moment, Tora. What is it, Rex Rex? I thought you were sad because your dad... I mean, your dad... He got captured. No, n not that. Dad upon happy whenever working. Dad upon love his work very much. Really? Really. Just look at Lila and Rosa. Dad upon's nocturnality is written all over them. Ah, yeah, it really comes through. But these new generic ones... No spirit, no verve. Maybe most important things for artificial blade. <sighs> Something wrong, Rex Rex? Uh, no, just passion sure and high in your family. Why, of course. Spirit of adventure like air we breathe. What kind of person was Tatazo? Dadapon? Poppy also want to hear about Master Pond Dadapon. Ah, Dadapon, quite an introvert Nopon, not expert in communication. Tadazo always busy with research? Yes, every day full of research, from morning to night. At graduation party, was very lonely, not many friends to talk to. But brave enough to ask my Mama Pond to dance, <laughs> very lucky for Tora. This how Tora get born. Mama Pon said Dada Pon was so true to self, couldn't say no to him. That, that's really heartwarming. Master Pon, where is your Mama Pon now? In end, said Dada Pon was too true to self. So Mama Pon went away. So it's like they got together and broke up for the same reason. Grampy Pon and Dada Pon always together, working on artificial blades. Never spend any time with Mama Pon. Make her unhappy. This makes sense to Poppy. Poppy have same problem with Master Pon sometimes. Sorry, but there no other way. Very busy making dreams real, living life to max. That what Dada Pon always say, but always get very sad when Tora ask him about it. When Mama Pon left, Dada Pon eat and drink like wild beast for three days to, to try to fix sadness. That not sound too healthy. Poppy must make sure Master Pon never get that sad, ever. Seems that your dad made a lot of sacrifices for his work. But it was those sacrifices that made Poppy a reality. I guess we have to be grateful for that. This give Poppy a funny feeling in Ether Furnace. Thanks for sharing, Master Pon. Oh! Poppy, that nice of you to say. Funny not always mean good, Master Pon. Excuse me.
Excuse Tora. 